my name is Amanda Kachubi, and I've been asked to share today to tell you about how I've seen God transform my life through serving. So this past summer, I went to India and stayed at a children's home from July through December. While I was there, I was working on a project that was creating a business for the Dalit women in the village. The Dalit women are the lowest of the caste, and they're pretty outcast from the rest of the village, so they don't have a lot of resources. So I really wanted to help them. And the way that I thought I should do that was by focusing on this job and by giving them an opportunity. But as the months went on, I realized that I really wasn't connecting with them at all. And my original goal had just been to really show them God's love and let them experience grace and love through through me from God. And I really wasn't succeeding in doing that because I was so focused on the project so I spent a day in prayer, just seeing how God wanted me to work with them, where he wanted me to devote my time instead of how I thought I should. And after that, we started just sitting and talking every day, and I got to know the women, and I got to know about their families and their children and just where they were in life. And I just, the opportunity to hear of them and get to know them was such a blessing for me. There was one woman in particular named Victoria who was the lowest within the group and she was always really sad and just really kind of on the outskirts of the group of women and one day she stayed and asked if I could just talk to her and we talked about her husband who was in the hospital and her children she had three kids and she asked me to start coming to her house and praying over her and her family every week and through that I was able to see God really transform her life she slowly got a lot happier and just had a joy that wasn't from where she was or what she had, but was really just from God. And through that, her whole family just began to be a lot happier. Her kids started playing with the other villagers, and it was just a really amazing experience to see God working through that. And so if you would like to hear more about how I served in India or what the projects were or about Little Flock, you can come to my reception, which is tonight in the youth room at 7 o'clock. Another way that I've been blessed by give, being given the opportunity to serve is through the Interfaith Rotating Winter Shelter, or IRWS, here at UCC. So the IRWS is a shelter that runs throughout the cold season here in Davis, and it rotates between the different churches. So what it does is in the evening, we give homeless guests a ride from downtown to the church, and then we provide them with dinner and different activities to do. And then in the morning, they get breakfast and a ride back to downtown. So one of the huge blessings that I've had through the shelter was one year I stayed and learned how to play dominoes with a few of the guests. They kind of shared their life with me and told me a little bit about how God has acted in their lives and I was able to also share with them about my life. And it was just a really good opportunity to just learn more about these people who I hadn't really interacted with very much before but who had awesome testimonies and stories to share with me. And so if you're at all interested in getting involved with the IRWS, we always need people who can prepare food or serve the food or drive from downtown to UCC or back in the morning from UCC to downtown. And our biggest need is always people who can stay overnight because we have to have at least two volunteers each night. So if you're interested, the shelter will be here from February 22nd through March 7th. And you can contact me at ajkashubi17 at gmail.com.